Okay, I wanted to show you how you can upsell food when users add an item to their order. So right now I have this Caesar salad added and I'm gonna wanna add something else. And let's see what we get. Um, we want, uh, yeah, these ribs look good. So I'm gonna add the ribs to the order. And how many do I want? I want one. Now watch what happens here. It's adding it to the cart, but then watch. Josh, add this to your order as well. And so the bot is upselling me on the brownies for five bucks. And if I click no thanks, then it'll take me to the cart. But if, uh, yeah, I want the brownies as well. So I'll add that. And I'll click uh, how many I want. And then that's added to the order as well. And so now you can see uh, the brownies were added and the ribs and the salad. So you see, we were able to recommend complimentary dishes. So, if, you know, if I'm going to get the ribs, you know, we can upsell them on the brownies as well. And the user doesn't have to go, you know, see the menu and then go discover it. The bot recommends it to them. So now let me show you how I built that. Okay, so the first thing I did here was I have this other column and I put it's the one that I used right next to the uh, the button action here so this is uh, the add to add to cart button and it's a, it was actually a hidden column for website but we're not using that so I just named it to suggest and I added brownies and brownies is actually in the keywords column here it's hard to see because my cells are grayed out but uh, you can see it says brownies here so what happens is when the user clicks add to cart uh, we're going to set a custom field and you can see here the field name i call it's called suggest and then we just need to add k2 uh, so we're going to suggest um, it's going to set the value of the suggest user field to this value brownies okay so that's that's what you do in the sheet and then you, obviously if you do that um, you would just drag this all the way to the bottom so it applies to all your cells. And same here, you want to make sure that you have enough fields being set. I've got more than enough. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, just add the field name in here and just drag that all the way down so the so the val um, that field gets added. Uh, and now let's look at it on the many chat side. I'm in the step or I'm in the flow where it writes to the cart and you can see it adds to order. And I like to know when uh, the, the order, the user has an intent to order. And then instead of going uh, directly to write to cart, which is, uh, sorry, view cart, which is where it went before, I just add a condition, uh, you know, does that suggest user field have any value? Uh, was a value set? And if it was, then I can give them this message. Uh, you know, add this to your order. And then I can just do a keyword search. And I can search column E. So column E is over here, uh, the keywords column. And I can just use that custom user field and it'll search column E for that value. And then you can see I have a quick reply that says no thanks and it'll target view cart. Um, so that's what'll happen if the user clicks no thanks it's going to go to this flow here if no value is set when they picked an item then it's not going to suggest or upsell another item so it just goes directly to view to cart view cart so uh yeah so that's just a nice way of when you add an item is uh suggesting another item and then you just have to make sure to clear that suggest field uh right when when uh, the user gets to this step so it automatically continues and it clears uh, clears the field and you also need this add to cart uh, node or flow what they call flow step you just need it in this flow as well because uh, that's if if the user click that they want the you know the brownies in this case it's gonna set the it's gonna add to cart so you need that here as well um, yeah, I hope that helps. Just a little trick on how to upsell food through your food ordering experience.